father. My Slovenian father! Uga Lodzic! I can't tell you how amazing it is to have Dark Matter Luka Doncic on this squad. If this isn't one of the best World of 2K squads you've ever seen, then I don't know what is. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to the second to last episode of Wheel of 2K. I know a lot of you are always looking for it. I know you guys are always looking forward to it. And with two final episodes, I would love to go out with a bang. We are eight and two, which means there's only three possible outcomes. I've got the time stone. I looked at all of the possibilities. And if I lose the next two games, I will do a 2K stream where every time I lose, I take one hit of the pen. One win, one loss, and you'll see a video on Madden 23 where I try to play really high. And if I go undefeated, it's a cock and ball rating. You know the rules. One of the most cracked, absurd teams we've ever seen. We have had crazy pack luck too. We pulled Invincible Ja Morant. We pulled Endgame Luca. which after seeing the comments from last video and talking to some people, that was actually insane. Like I knew it was insane when I did it. I didn't realize how just how insane. Astronomical 0.01% insane. Maybe I should go buy a lottery ticket. Who knows? We pulled Kareem out of a pack as well. And everybody else we purchased or powered up or was our team captain. LeBron at the one, Jordan at the two, Luke at the three, Hakeem at the four, Porzingis at the five. Today's wheel spin, I think I'd like to replace Thon Maker. You know, he has been actually really solid though. So if I'm gonna replace Thon Maker, it better be a real good replacement. And I really do hate to say what I'm about to say, but I think our worst player has been Ja Moran. I know it feels weird to say, but Ja is kind of undersized. Feels like he gets torched on defense pretty often. He's kind of a mismatch out there, especially if he gets switched on to a big. If LeBron gets switched on to a big, I don't really mind. He plays really good defense. Jordan is spectacular, guarding almost everybody except for really big centers. Luka can guard most positions. Ben Simmons can guard most positions. Same with Durant, same with Thon Maker, same with Kareem. I have consistently noticed John Morant is, he's got like a fish out of water sometimes. I really just, I don't know. I still like him though. I'm just saying if we really gotta, you know, if we really gotta dice up something here with this wheel spin, it might be John Morant. Either way, let's let the wheel spin decide for us and go from there. Let's see what we can get away with today. Our wheel spin is going to be this is a classic. You guys know the difference between jam and jelly, right? It's like a trivia question. Some people do not know the difference between jam and jelly. Go ahead. Think about it. I can't jelly my dick down your throat, but I can jam it. Also want to give a huge thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video. If you need tickets for anything, you're going to want the SeatGeek app on your phone. Whether that's a sports game like an NBA or NFL game or a festival or concert, SeatGeek's going to have the ticket you want. And the reason for that is SeatGeek's going to take tickets from all around the web and put them in one location to make buying simple. And of course, I can get you a discount. You can get $20 off your first SeatGeek order when you use code MMG. Again, that's $20 off your first order with code MMG. SeatGeek Geek, thanks for sponsoring, guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. I get five calls. Here's the problem. All of my friends are so on edge because literally I spend like half of my time trying to get them with these stupid ass jokes. So I don't think this is gonna work on anybody. I'm gonna call the most free poverty girls in my phone because all my guy friends are gonna know. Hello. So big baller. Not much. What about you? Did I catch you at a good time? Yeah, it's fine. Cash money. Yeah. How's uh, how's liberal liberal arts school? You guys make any Joe Biden statues recently? Um, no, because. Last one just, I don't know, didn't work out. Oh, that's messed up. That I've got a, uh, I've actually got a trivia question for you. Okay. So far, literally none of my friends know the correct answer. So you are the fourth person I've called. Is this for a video or something? Well, so I might use it in a video, but I'm starting to think that the question's too hard. So maybe I need to switch up my questions. So did you call me for content? No. Yeah, this is too easy. <laughs> What's the difference between jam and jelly? Um, jam and jelly like I strawberry like jam strawberry jelly about this actually and i watched it Quack. the information did not sink in jam is like like handmade and jelly is like store-bought or something i, I uh i, I think remember. well i guess the correct answer is i can't jelly my dick in your ass but i can jam it <laughs> that's so fucking stupid that doesn't even make sense yes it does get shit on you just got clapped bud all right, now you gotta tell you gotta tell everyone watching that you just got clapped. Could you please say I admit I just got clapped? No. You got clapped. All right, have fun at liberal arts school. All right, say hi to Joe Biden for me. Fifty k in the books, one for one. I call Hallie. Hallie's one of my favorite friends. She's gonna call bullshit instantly. Oh, she's probably at work. Shit. No, it's oh shit. No, she's not at work. Your call has been no riz. Absolutely no riz. Oh my god. One for two. I'm gonna call the girls I had a gay threesome with. Oh my god. Have you ever heard that story? I met these two girls and then they became like my best friends. 
So we all slept in the same bed, except I didn't do anything with either of them. So I call it a gay. Oh my God, I have literally no game. Am I gonna lose from no one picking up? I was so hot to start out. Oh my God, you sound rough. Are you all right? I actually just woke up from a nap. Oh, okay. Oh, did I just wake you up? I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. I was awake. That was the first <laughs> word I said in a couple of hours. Just came out a little froggy there. But the reason I'm calling you, I'm I'm trying to make this video, and I it's like trivia, except okay. everyone I've called cannot get the answer right. So now I'm starting to think that this question's too hard. I thought it would be like a really elementary question, but now it's not, so. <laughs> oh, jeez. What is the difference between jam and jelly? Damn, that is a hard question. You sure I is. I know. I feel like jam is like, what is jam? I can't pick and mashed. It's, um, <laughs> the correct answer is I can't jelly my dick in your ass, but I can jam it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Get shit on. This motherfucker don't miss. <laughs> you had the perfect yeah, reaction. Yeah, I wasn't gonna, I, oh, I wasn't gonna get it. <laughs> You'll never get gotten twice now. You'll know next time someone asks you the difference. Okay, I'm two for four right now. That's 50k each. I might be able to get one more. By the way, I would call Elle, except she's heard this a million times. It was not, it's not going to get her. I'm 100% sure. All right. So big ball. <laughs> How are you phobin? What's up? Are you phobin or are you phobin? I'm phobin. <laughs> you, you better be. I am playing a bad wing for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good shit. That sounds like a good day, honestly. Yeah, it's kind of work at like five. I uh I just got on the off the phone with Katie and you're gonna feel really smart if you get this right because she could not get it right. It's a trivia question. <laughs> she she completely biffed it. I'm gonna be totally honest. Okay. What is the difference between jam and jelly? <laughs> you don't know, do you? Um, uh, no, I feel like there's not a difference. That's my answer. There is certainly a difference. Enlighten me. I can't jelly my dick in your ass. Okay. But I can jam it. <laughs> there's always. There's always something. Something, always. That's a heater, though. I literally did just get off the phone with Katie, and I did just clap it with that. <laughs> hey, you can't say I didn't get clapped today. It's going to be a good day. I guess so. Not you. Perfect. Nice. That couldn't be better. <laughs> I knew they'd come in clutch, baby. Technically, I called Cass twice, so I feel like that's five calls, which lands me perfectly on 100K MT, and I feel like I'm not gonna get anybody for 150K anyway, so I feel like this is like exactly where I wanna be. D Wade, what do we think about D Wade? No, I need power forward center. That's power forward center, LeBron. I can't get that. I'm just looking at all the invincibles on the AAH right now. The only way I'd get these guys if nobody bid on them, so I probably can't do invincible. I think a dark matter power forward that's a little bit better than Thon Maker. Oh, Chet Holmgren would actually be sick. I don't even know if he's better than Thon Maker, it'd just be sick to have. Oh, he's got mad badges on him though. That might be fun. Chet Holmgren would be kind of funny. Oh no, we have to get a nasty Bol Bol, bro. Oh, no, right. they're the same fucking player, dude. They're the exact same player. Nah, no, Bol Bol's a little taller. And this should be a funny throwback because Bol Bol was that gold I had for forever. To me, it's either Bol Bol or Holmgren. I'll let Alexa pick. If Alexa goes one, it's Bull Bull. If he goes two, it's Chet Holmgren. Hey, Alexa, pick a flip a coin. Heads is Bull Bull. Tails. Oh, so that's Holmgren. Holmgren. All right, we're going Chetty. We're going Chetty, boy. Those, um, those rookie Dark Matters have, like, crazy badges. So I feel like he's probably pretty good. Damn it, he's expensive. Holy shit, I'm glad we got 100K. Holy shit. 65K MT for Chet Holmgren. So he'll go in for Thon Maker. Chet is very light, so I don't actually know how he's going to play. But badges-wise, dude, this boy's a beast. Chet Holmgren, 7 foot 195 from Gonzaga. Honestly, very good stats. Not absurd like an invincible or an end game, but 45 Hall of Fame badges. Comparing this to Thon Maker, we just took him out for. He's got better IQ, better mid-range scoring, and nine more Hall of Fame badges. That just leaves a challenge rule, and we're ready to hop into this game. Challenge rule's been insane, as you guys know, this season, so let's see if we can clutch up one more. We have never gotten this, and this one's hard. You really have to go off with, like, just two players to get this, because most games I'll score, like, 60, 70, 80 points. So for 50 to come from two players is a lot. Endgame Lamelo, Endgame Jokic at point guard, Invincible Braun, Bol Bol, Invincible Dave. He's got the Bol Bol I passed up on. Shit! Dude, point guard Jokic on Endgame point guard Braun. Shit, and I am crazy out of position. I'm going all the way in with LeBron. Jokic sweated the shit out of me, but we got a foul. Take him to the line, baby. 
Easy. All right, I think I'm gonna need to onball this guy. Posting up with Jokic. Ooh, good move. The dream shake on me. Step back, Porzingis green. That going left step back is literally my favorite move. And we get an Olajuwon rip, pump fake Porzingis. Oh, oh, over three and another green. Porzingis. Gonna have to play like that against a player this good. See, this is why I love Endgame LeBron point guard. Imagine a different point guard up there. Even my little invincible Luka was gonna get bodied down there, to be honest. Ooh, Olajuwon's gonna be open. Stay up on him. Stay up on him. That's fine, actually. All right, all right. All right, I'm gonna cross with Bron. Go for the mid-range green with AD on him. What a great start to this game. See, like, Morant on Jokic here, dude. I'm in so much trouble. Porzingis on LaMelo. And none I knew about that. Jordan, you know he's gonna strap that. That's one of my favorite things to do is call the screen and just not take it. Hollywood stars, 15 to 16. We've made an adjustment. Now Porzingis guards Jokic. Great dunk Durant. Great defense. And he fouls with Porzingis. Great defense right there. Gotta keep Ron in. He's got four. I wanna score through him and probably Porzingis. Yeah, but we gotta get everybody reps too. Damn. The bucket. I feel like this is a matchup I want. Nice. Dude, he is, this is what, I, remember when I said this about John Morant, dude? He's absolutely abusing John Morant. I feel like Porzingis could just body bull bull. Oh, post fade, beauty. Damn, I didn't make that. I gotta stop worrying about the challenge, dude. We're too deep into the season to worry about a challenge right now. It would be nice, but what's a pack really gonna, ah, but I want it still. Beautiful move. 41% contested, he takes it home. My on ball is, oh. <laughs> I love to say that my on ball's nasty when I just get crossed like a motherfucker right there. Beautiful pass to Hakeem, wide open for two. I'm gonna stay on him. I'm gonna on ball him. Nice dunk. I really thought I defended that. That's so easy, how beautiful. The penetration, he doubles, or they help, I guess. Better way to put it, three coming, three coming, three coming. Gotta be there for it. Oh, trash shot. Yes, sir. One more, one more. Yes, sir, great release. Mmm, just a little late. I needed to get it to him first. So an icon pass would have been big. Good defense! Come on, AD! Yes, what a move! The pump, the left, and the dunk! Great work, Hakeem! Oh, let's get Chet in here. Yes, sir. Holmgren will come in. Chetty boy! Oh, good move. Great move. What? Wow, that was mad unlucky. Chad on Porzingis, great move too. He got unlucky there. He got quite unlucky there. Pump, yes, get him in the air. <laughs> what? I creamed the hook. How am I, how do I keep doing that? Oh, rip it. Good pump. Out to Chetty Boy for the mini. Another green. God, ripping these inbounds. Another one. He knows I'm pump faking and moving. Wait, I'm going to not take this. Oh, you're in trouble now, buddy. 11 point lead, double digits. What a run. It was 24 to 25 at one point. 12 unanswered. Get over it, get over it, get over it. Don't allow the pass. Great defense. Go under, go under, go under for the dunk. Pump fake. Ooh. I keep forgetting, you can't pump fake if you're holding sprint going at the basket. It's just gonna dunk. Great defense. Could have almost been a foul, really. Come on, Ben. Ben Simmons is a fucking clamp god, dude. Good D! Out to Durant. Ooh, bad shot, bad shot. Oh, there's no time left, okay. Not a bad shot. What a loser. Start of the third, let's bring Porzingis back in because I know he has, actually no. Let's go look at the box score real quick. Eight for Hakeem, seven for Porzingis. For me to get to 50 with two players would just be insane. I'm barely gonna score 70 in the game, but I'll try, I'll try and play through my big still. Let's, uh, let's get Porzingis one right here. Yes, sir, they all came across, easy dunk. Okay. Okay, so now Porzingis should be guarding Jokic. Yup. He's not gonna be able to do that post-up cheese anymore. Well, I guess Bol Bol will be able to now that I think about it, right? Oh, that's why he runs this lineup. So he's always got a post-up cheese. Okay. Okay, Porzingis. Nice defense. Way to be in the lane. Going for the spin here. Oh, what a move. Yes, sir. Beautiful. We're still scoring through Porzingis. He's get the rip. Oh, no, no, no. I hit the deck. Now somebody's wide open. Oh, shit. Step back. 
Ooh. Okay. Wow, I'm getting a little bailed out too. Yeah, he's gonna cry. <laughs> he's so, he's so rattled. So rattled. I know I said for rage quits, I do double or nothing, but that was really for early rage quits. We were deep into the third quarter there. I feel like that game was kind of over and I do deserve the win on that one. It is about a minute since we spun the rage quit wheel. My goodness. See if we can get anything saucy here. Come on, baby. Is that Team Wheel Jackpot? Team Wheel Jackpot? Yes, sir. God, it really has been a while. Okay, so any single player in the game, but they must come from the Boston Celtics. Does Taco play for the Celtics? I swear I always see him in a Celtics uni. Taco Fall is a Celtic. See, like, endgame. I'm not going to do endgame. I, I have three endgames on this team. I'm not doing it. Dude, out of position, Taco Fall, bring him in and just post up like a savage. Or, because I want a shooting guard, is Reggie Lewis. Not really what I want. And then there is a Jalen Brown. He's a Galaxy Opal. That's not better than John Morant. I think we're going to go Taco Fall. Maybe I'll just have him and Kareem split minutes. So I always have a nasty center on the court with like a ton of stamina. All right. So Taco Fall is now technically my 11th man. And I'm putting Jamario Moon as my 12th man out of memes. Bush, it has been one hell of a season. Does that take me to nine and two? Am I doing my math right here? I'll certainly have an answer for you at the start of the next episode because my brain is actually blanking. But I do love you. And thanks for watching Banger episode, another big win. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.